Hi everybody from Trish's class. I am really excited because Miss Trish told me that your theme this week is Disney. And I love Disney songs. I love Disney. And as you can see, my daughter loves Frozen. <laughs> so we'll see. I There are so many Disney songs. It's so hard for me to pick just a couple to make a half an hour session. So I think maybe in the fall, we should also do a Disney theme and fit in all the songs because I picked some of my favorites, but there's so many, it's hard to narrow it down to just a few. So um, let's say hello, and then we'll take a look and see what Disney songs we wanna sing today. All right, you ready? So we're gonna sing our new hello song, and it goes like this. Hey, everybody, hey, hey, hello. Hey, everybody, hey, hey, hello. Hey, everybody, hey, hey, hello. It's time for some music. Wave your hands, everybody, wave them hello. Wave everybody, wave them hello. Wave everybody, wave, wave hello. It's time for some music. Hello to Joseph. Hello to Charlotte. Hello to Nia. Hello to Z. Hello to Katie. Hello to Ed. Oh, it's time to say hello. Hey, everybody. Hey, hey, hello. Hey, everybody. Hey, hey, hello. Hey, everybody. Hey, hey, hello. It's time for some So are you excited for your last week of summer sessions and summer music? And I'm really excited for the Disney theme. So let's see. Let's see how many we can cram in to a half an hour session. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Okay, so I'm really excited that Miss Trish picked Disney as your theme today because I love Disney music. And I have this great book called The Disney Collection. And in it is a song that I thought we should definitely start with. It's called, It's a Small World. Do you guys know that song? Um, whenever I think of Disney, I think of It's a Small World because of the ride from Disney World. When I first went to Disney World, when I was like two years old, I went on that ride, It's a Small World. And um, it's such a great ride. And I love that song. It's really, really catchy. And you go on the ride and you see all sorts of different um, kind of puppets from different countries singing this song in different languages. So in a way, this song goes really well with our theme from last week all around the world, right? Um, and do you know what that um, phrase means, it's a small world? It means that even though we live in a really big world, it's kind of small because even though we're very different, like we might speak a different language or we might look different, a lot of us are the same too, right? We, we have the same moon, we have the same sun, right, in the sky. So if you live on the other side of the world, you still have the moon and the, and the sun, right? Or you might speak a different language, but you still have people that you love, and there's so much about, about us that is so similar and different, right? But that's what makes us all so special. And um, I thought we should sing It's a Small World After All together. So if you know it, I hope that you sing along. If you don't know it, just take a listen. You'll catch on quick, and I bet you you'll be able to sing it with us soon. All right, let's get started. I'm going to move you over, and we're going to sing the song. Great All right, job. are you ready? Can you see me okay? I think you can. Let me do this a little bit more. All right, you ready? Here we go.
There is just one moon and the golden. What do you think? There's one moon and there's one golden sun, right? And a smile means friendship for everyone. So I thought that was the perfect way for us to begin our Disney themed session. So I hope you enjoyed the songs I picked. There's so many songs to choose from. So um, let's see what's next. Okay, so this next song we're going to do is actually from the movie Moana, which is a Disney movie. And I almost did it last week because um, they use like an ancient like language, like a Polynesian language. And I thought if anybody had picked like over by Hawaii, Polynesia area, um, maybe we could have done it, but nobody picked that. So I decided to save it for this week. Um, and I thought it would be a fun drumming song to do. So if you want to get out some sort of drum, it's okay. If you don't have a drum like mine, remember you can use a pot or a pan or a cardboard box. Whatever you want to drum on is fine with me. So go ahead and get it. If you need to pause the video and come back, you can, um, and in it, we are going to learn about different dynamics. So dynamics in music, um, you might, if some of you play instruments, or maybe you've seen these signs before, what letter is that? It's a P, right? It might be backwards for you, but two P's together is called pianissimo, and that means you play really, really soft. So, so how would you play pianissimo? Really soft, so you can barely even hear, right? Now the next sign to get a little louder, the next one we would want is just one P, which means to play soft. And this um, stands for the word piano, which means to play soft. So not quite as soft as pianissimo, a little louder. So can you try to play piano with just soft? Good, and then the next sign that you would see it's called mezzo piano, and you would see a lowercase m and a p, and it means to play medium soft, so that's just a little louder. Can you try that with me? Good. Then the sign after that is called mezzo forte, and that means to play medium loud or moder moder moderately loud. <laughs> Good, and that's just kind of medium. So how would that be if you were playing? Medium loud. The next sign after that is one F, and that stands for the word forte in Italian, which means to play loud. So let me hear you play loud, forte. Good. And the next way we're going to play is my favorite way to play. And that is fortissimo, which is two lowercase f's, or sometimes it's capital, um, and very, very, very loud. <laughs> the fortissimo doesn't necessarily mean fast, it just means loud. <laughs> very, very loud. Good. So we're going to sing the song from Moana and play the drums. We're going to start by playing this way. Mezzo forte. Does anybody remember what that means? That means to play medium. Good. And we're going to sing the song. <laughs> I have my talking drum, so it has different pitch pitches. All right, here we go. We're going to play medium loud, mezzo forte, and sing the song. It goes like this. We read the wind in the sky. Brand new island everywhere we roam. 
play that medium loud. Now we're gonna try to play it really, really soft, pianissimo. Ready? So we're gonna sing soft and we're gonna play soft. crescendo, which means to get a little bit louder, and we're going to move to soft. So let's make our voices a little louder, but still soft. Away, away, we set a course to find a brand new island everywhere we row. Away, away, we keep our island in our mind, and when it's time to find home, so we're still soft. Now what would happen if we sang a little bit softer, or a little bit louder? Mezzo piano, moderately soft. A little louder, ready? We read the wind and the sky when the sun is high. We sail the length of the seas on the ocean breeze. Now let's get a little bit louder and play medium loud. And night we name every star. We know where we are. We know who we are, who we are. Now let's get a little louder than that and play forte. Away, away, we set the course to find a brand new island everywhere we row. What happens if we sing and play fortissimo? Away, away, we keep our island in our mind. And when it's time to find home, we know the way. Right, that's loud fortissimo. So it's fun to play with the different parts of our voice, right? From pianissimo, away, away. Right, and piano, away, away. Mezzo piano, away, away. So forte, away, away, forte, away, away, and fortissimo, away, away. Right? You can use all the different parts of your voice. So you don't always have to be loud. You don't always have to be soft. It's fun to play with those different dynamics of our voices and the instruments, right? Isn't that cool? All right, so let's finish the song. Let's finish it mezzo forte. All right. Away, away, we are explorers reading every sign. We tell the stories of our elders and a never-ending chain. Away, away, tefa nu te malie, nahi ho hakilea. song and I'm glad we got a chance to do it and I really love the movie Moana so if you haven't watched it yet go watch it it's a beautiful movie and I know it's based on a bunch of different islands so I was trying to figure out exactly where it took place some some say it takes place in Hawaii some takes say it takes place in Polynesia some people say it's like Fiji I'm not sure exactly where it takes place but it's beautiful wherever it takes place and I love all the music. And Lin-Manuel Miranda, who wrote Hamilton, actually wrote the music to um, this movie. And he's the one who sings the song. I don't know if you knew that little fun fact. But there you go. So I hope you enjoyed it. Bye. Okay, so this next song is a really fun song to sing. And it's from the Disney movie Brave. Have you guys seen that movie? My favorite thing about that movie is the music, of course. And um, I love this song because it has that kind of Irish, Scottish feel in the music, and I love that kind of music. I love that. Feel to it. Right? 
right? So if somebody picked Scotland last week, we could have done it um, for Scotland. But no, none of the classes picked Scotland, and that's totally fine. Now we get to sing it this week. All right? So in this song, there's a chance for us all to sing together. So if you don't know all the words, that's fine, but you can just sing the na 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 na
touch the sky. song and I love to touch the sky it just felt like stretching and touching the sky just like the song says so touch the sky <sighs> isn't that a great song I hope that you guys enjoyed it I really love that song I think we did it around St. Patrick's Day also because it has that Irish Celtic feel even though it takes place in Scot Scotland but I think that music's kind of similar and I just love that I love that sound so much. So I really loved the music from Brave. Um, that was my favorite part of the movie was all the music. <laughs> all right, great job, guys. Okay, so we're back at the piano because I wanted to share with you guys one of my favorite Disney songs. It's from the movie Pete's Dragon. Do you know that movie? It's not as popular as some of the movies. Now, some of the Disney movies out there like Frozen, which I love too, and we could do Let It Go. Maybe we'll do that another day, but I really wanted to share this song with you because um, I thought it would be a really great song for us to sing today. It's called Candle on the Water, and it has a kind of a symbolic meaning. It's all about supporting each other, being there for each other, being the light in times of darkness, right? I know it's kind of a deep meaning, but it's such a beautiful song. So during this song, I want you to think about the people who are there for you when you're going through a hard time. Maybe it's a family member, maybe it's a friend, maybe it's a teacher. And also, who are you there for? Who do you support? Who do you love? All right, it's a beautiful song. I hope that you enjoy it. If you know it, feel free to sing along. If you don't know it, I hope that you just enjoy being introduced to it and go watch the movie Peach Dragon. It's so good, I love this movie. Um, it's one of the movies I grew up with and I just always loved this movie. So I'm gonna move you over here. And I'm gonna sing it for you and I hope that you enjoy it. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Can you see me okay? I just really like that song and I think it just has such a positive message for us to hear you know to know no matter what no matter if you're ever going through a hard time no matter what you always have somebody who's there for you all right I hope that you liked it and if anything 
go watch the movies Peach Dragon if you don't know it already because it's a great movie. I love it. I love the dragon in it. His name is Elliot and he's so sweet and cute. And it's a really great movie. All right. Great job, guys. Okay, everybody from Trisha's class. So what did you think? Did you like all the songs I picked? I hope so. If I missed one of your favorite Disney songs, let Miss Trish know and she can let me know because in the fall, I'm going to also be doing music this way. I know some of you might be going back to school. Some of you might stay on the computer. I'm going to stay on the computer for a little bit, right? Just so your head teachers are there. Um, but I'll still get to see you this way. So if you have any requests um, for the fall, let Trish know and she can let me know. And maybe we can do another Disney theme in September. What do you think? All right. Will you help me sing goodbye? Have a great rest of your summer and I will see you on September, in September, on the computer. All right, have a great rest of your summer. Bye guys.